Welcome back to another Bourbon Santa video. ASW put out a Ambarana finished release last weekend. It's their, they had their whole release party and put out this new, brand new whiskey. It's their weeded mash bill, of course, finished in Ambarana barrels. Now, they have both batch one and batch two available. And today I'm gonna to review batch two and I'm gonna compare it to my Oak and Eden store pick, and uh, which was also finished with Ambarana. And we're gonna see, we'll see, let's just see. Let's see, ASW thinks they can step to this. Let's see what they did. Now, mine was finished in barrel and in bottle with spires of Ambarana. This was finished in Ambarana barrels. So this was finished more like the Starlight Cigar Batch, whatever the hell it's called. And, and then, you know, there's some other Ambarana finished whiskeys coming soon uh, from other distilleries. And I know Penelope's doing one and GT's doing one and, or two. And, you know, so there's a lot more of that coming that you'll be able to compare. But for now, we can do this. Now, this is a weeded bourbon. Now, I've had my Ambarana four grain finished. I've had the Ambarana bourbon, Ambarana finished. And then somebody's sending me a wheat, um, Oak and Eden wheat that was uh, Ambarana finished. So there's a lot of that floating around right now. It seems to be the new thing. Tojaki is going, you know, it was a thing, or Tokai, or however you say that, that stupid, stupid finish. You know, that Hungarian wine finish. That was the, the rage, and now Ambaran is the rage. So, let's see. Let's see how they did. It's got a really nice nose. It's, it's a nice nose. It's slightly less Ambarana than my store pick. Yeah. Theirs has a really nice vanilla that shows through. I find, and I, I've done a few experiments with Ambarana Spires, I find that wheat whiskeys really do play nicely with Ambarana Finish. I Ambarana Finished a Weller Special Reserve and it came out delicious. And and I'm playing with a, a Penelope Four Grain that I'm Ambarana Finishing right now and a few other things. And I found that if there's wheat in the whiskey, it plays really nice with Ambarana. So no surprise, this smells really nice. It's very distinctly Ambarana. You get that round, exotic wood note that's cinnamon forward. It's not, this one's not quite as cinnamon forward as my four grain, but there's a nice amount of cinnamon like legit, like um, ground cinnamon. Let's taste. The front, the approach is very nice, very sweet, very round, very creamy. The back half of the palate goes dry and slightly bitter. So that's, that's not, that part's not great. Hint of orange peel, hint of nuttiness on the mid palate. The back half of the palate goes drying and slightly bitter wood. It's not bad. It's, it's interesting. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting to have thoughts about Ambarana finishing. 
I think that Ombre on a finishing is such a strong finishing character that you can cover up a lot of less than perfect whiskey with it. So, so Oak and Eden isn't wonderful. It's okay, but it's not wonderful whiskey. It's, it's you know, fairly generic. Um, MGP, different mash, mash bills, including four grain. And it's, but it's not like top tier MGP juice, like some others that are out there. And, and so the Amberana finish does a good job of covering up the, uh, the defaults in the whiskey. Now, and I'm wondering about this ASW. Because when I try to reach past the Amberana finish and, and interact with the whiskey in my mind, in my tasting experiment, experience, in my nosing experience, I don't know if the whiskey is one would would be what I can consider great without the ombre on a finish. So I wonder about that, you know, and and like the um, the Starlight Cigar Batch, it's fantastic. But is it fantastic because it's so weird? Is it fantastic because the ombre is so influential on the whiskey? And I, I just wonder that. It makes me makes me wonder these things. Because I'm I was really surprised to get that that dry kind of bitterness on the back half of the palate of this whiskey. If that is a fault of the, the base whiskey, or if it's a if it's a Amberana thing. I don't think it's an Amberana thing. Because I don't, oh no. My Oak and Eden pick doesn't have that bitter on the end or that drying. It's it's creamy all the way through. Now obviously different mash bills, mine's four grain. This is a weeded bourbon. So corn, wheat, and probably barley. I don't know 100%. So yeah, it's different. It's good, it's interesting. But it's got that that one negative on the back half. So there it is. I encourage you to try it. If you get a chance to stop by ASW, try it before you buy it. And see what you think. It's interesting. There you go. Until next time. I hope you have a great day.